Welcome to 260 Minnesota Street. This is a design of, of a residence that really took into account architecture, landscape architecture, and harmonized them as an approach which is really untraditional in most homes. And so every part of this house took that, that key design principle into uh, importance. The inspiration was very much about how the house would integrate into the heritage of the street but create an urban fresh kind of new thinking about, about this residence and so the materials, the scale of the roof, breaking its mass down, all of these key decisions were, were instrumental in uh, you know, the final design. Welcome to this home. Every time I open the door and I walk in, I feel peaceful. The house is tranquil, and the zen-like qualities of design make it relaxing. But once you walk into the body of the home, you're one in one with nature. It's like a boutique hotel with a little spa area. I sit there and I cannot believe the view and wonder. I am in the heart of Collingwood. It's serene. The detailing of the house was very much about expressing the outside with the inside and the inside with the outside so that it, there was this really kind of lovely uh, ability through all four seasons to enjoy this kind of strong connectivity between, between the two. The materials and the detailing within the house are very much about simplicity but maintaining this urban fresh kind of uh, context to uh, you know, to the house. And it's a house that loves to be entertained, but it's also a house that enjoys repose and retreat. Uh, so it, it, it has that kind of lovely kind of diversity in how it can be actually enjoyed. This has to be one of the most special parts of the house and we call it the pavilion. And we wanted it to have its own distinct personality and so we separated it from the house with this, with this bridge and depressed two areas. The fireplace is an, is an incredible go-to spot. Uh, this is where you spend hours, uh, three seasons of the year. And then the way the house lands with the back because of the grating, we created a separate sunken terrace so that you still get these wonderful overviews to all parts of the garden. Um, it is uh, truly an amazing space to enjoy um, and uh, it, 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 it has a playful personality as well uh, because we've introduced these sculptural sheep to, uh, to be moved around on a daily basis to kind of give it a, a playful feeling. So here's a design feature that you may never have seen before. These two cupboards are my cupboards and all the appliances are permanently plugged in. They're on little trays like this that go back and forth. You can bring everything out. You have your plates, whatnot, no muss, no fuss. And when the doorbell rings, you just grab these doors and close them up like that. I love it.
I think this spot here really demonstrates how important the siting of the house with the landscape at the same time really works. You know, this house, I think, uh, because it's nestled in with these beautiful mature gardens, will leave a legacy on its own and over time, um, I think it's something that will grow and take on a very kind of distinct uh, personality because I think every house should have its own personality. And so uh, thank you for joining me.